Um, as everyone is aware, as advertised, this is a hard mode run. Meaning we are going to be avoiding Arrhenius as he walks around. Um, so that is going to be taking cryo. If we have to, uh, uh if we accidentally encounter him, um, we're probably going to have to wipe and then everybody run back in. So let's try not to do that today. Um, as mentioned also in the Discord, the BOEs and mats are hard reserved for the guild bank. Um, along with the recipe for the elixir of greater nature power and the formula for the eternal dreamstone shard. These are going to be hard reserved for guild members. Um, but if we don't have, if one drops, and we don't have any guildies with us who are in need of those items, then they are going to be open to roll for anyone who is here. And also as advertised, we are doing a plus system now with Emerald Sanctum. Try to ensure that we are rewarding the individuals who are coming faithfully week after week. Um, as advertised, for each consistent SR of the same item, you do get a plus one. Um, that applies to your singular character, if you come in multiple characters, because I know a couple of people here do. Um, you can have multiple plus runs going on different items, but they have to be assigned to a specific character. Uh, that being said, if you have to miss a week, um, please do let me know via a absent, and then your SR, so let's say like today someone SR is a plus one, they're absent next week, but they let me know, you will come back with a plus one. Um, so you don't gain one, but you don't lose your SR. If someone needs a bank, I gotcha. Um, that being said, um, also, uh, do do do. Yes. So SR on the same item. So like, I know that Mithrin come has come with both his warrior and his warlock. If he's SRing one item on his warlock and another item on his character, um, he needs to. Your SRs don't build on both of those items, if that makes sense. Um, now, that being said, um, as also mentioned, if you are interested, we're doing our next sale immediately following after this. And we should be good to go. I'm really quickly going to mark up my tanks so that our tanks are aware of your individual marks. Um, Ash, I'm going to kind of bully you a little bit. To help tank just for the mobs. And then once the boss comes back, I will mark him accordingly. Um, that being said, everyone, uh, do we have anyone with us who this is your first Emerald Sanctum? If you don't feel comfortable uh, messaging it in like the raid chat, you can always whisper it to me. It doesn't really particularly matter. It just uh, lets me know how much talking I get to do today. Doesn't look like anyone. Oh, Giga X, if this is your first time, beautiful. Welcome aboard. We are happy to have you along. Um, so I will do a little bit more blabbing than I normally do. Um, ah, there he is. I was not late. You were not. I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> Technically, about a minute. Technically, either way, uh, your mum. Either way, guys, uh, we're having, um, Emma the Hunter doing loot, or excuse me, not doing loot, but doing, uh, skinning today. So, uh, please don't skin. Leave it to him so he can give it to me so I can give it to the guild bank. Alright, that being said, um, once JCE is all buffed up, we can get ready to rock and roll. I'm really quickly going to do a ready check to make sure that we are comfortable with everything that's happening today. Or, well, at least, uh, buff-wise. Did I miss oranges? You did, but I have an extra stack for you. Or, fire is doing one real quick. Five, four, three, two. Thank you very one. much. What a good guy. All right, the only individual who um, looks like they were AFK is first round. First round. Please let me know if you're here. Beautiful. 
Alrighty. We are all ready to rock and roll. It's all good, my dude. Right, so general rule of thumb when it comes to mob prio, dreamers go down first, then the wormkin, then the suppressors, the worms, the scale banes, and then the dragonkin. Shamans definitely need to be putting down their tremor totems during the dreamers to ensure that we don't get um, the sleep debuff, because that is a bitch. Oops, right. got to turn my hat on them. For this next pack, um, once the dreamers go down, melee, if you want to make sure that you are cleaning up the dragon kin. And if we have a scale blade, please let's make sure that we're pointing them away. Casters for the dragon kin, if you see it shimmering, that means it is going to be reflecting spells. With the scale banes, they do cleave, so they need to be pointed away from the raid. Someone's ass pulled the worm. I'll pick it up. Casters and healers, <laughs> make sure that you're at maximum range. Shamans, make sure you're putting down your cleansing totems. That poison volley is not fun, but it can be cleansed. If you get aggro, yeah, bring them to the stack. Yes. Dreamers are little bitches. We don't want them anywhere near. Big heals on our tanks that are holding on the worms. That poison stack sucks like a bitch. We'll get the scale beam first. Assuming he doesn't turn around. Hopefully no social. Nope, there's social aggro. I want the scale bane out of the raid, out of the raid. I don't want cleaves on my healers. Big heels on whoever was holding the worm. Or this, excuse me, the wormkin. Before we move ahead, I want to make sure that everybody is up. No friends left behind. I'm going to send the 20 second pull timer if you need mana to start drinking the oranges.
anyone has sights on Arrhenius, I'd like them to mark him with the... I do. He's right ahead. Five, yep, I've marked him. Four, three, two, one. Now is the time for the dance, ladies and gentlemen. We will need to be cautious of his position at all times. I want the suppressor out of the raid. Anyone who can interrupt spells, please do watch the suppressor. If they're doing a mana drain or a health drain, you need to be interrupting. Oops, that hurt. What did you do? Suppressor whacked me. I was full health and then I was nothing. It's okay, raid leaders don't need to pay attention to threat items. They just need to lead the raid. I was paying attention to the threat out. I, I was pulling him. I got aggro so I could pull him away from the healers. They do hate gnomes, clearly. It's this rogue tanking. It's not quite there yet. Can't wait for class changes, too. <laughs> Alright, want to make sure we get all of our friends up. Including me, because I am doing Master Loot. We yeah, do have our first important. trash drop of the evening, ladies and gents. Thank you, thank you. Let me get all the other crap so Am can do the skinning. See if anybody SR'd nature's call. We had two. Never mind. Nature's gift and nature call, man. That's like cheap. <laughs> All right. Do we have anyone who is interested in nature's gift? I wish nature's call dropped that often. I know, right? Awesome. It is a nice cat, nice cat weapon, but our sh druids with us today are either Resto or they're the boss. So. Gotta be an off spec. Or in a. Bed off bed. we go. Alright, same deal, guys. Dreamers down first. And then we wanna make, sh wanna make sure that we are healing the tanks that are on the wormkins and or suppressors. We have a. Wouldn't be two wormkins today. Shamans, please make sure you're putting down your tremors and you're putting down your cleansing totems. The poison volley from the worm is not the funnest, but it can be cleansed. Is the server bucking? Are we having lags? I swear it's fucking gotta be the server. Alright, we do have another trash drop, ladies and gentlemen. We do have the Lasher's Whip. That is not, uh... Soft Reserve. So do we have any, uh... Anyone who's interested? Because this is like Mind a Lasher Army Night. That right. real quick. Everyone else come stack on the green triangle, please. We're going to wait here, make sure Arrhenius passes past us. Then we're looking to pull in this pack in front of us. Changing the green mark now to all the scale things. It's tank meant to regret to to Campo. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree. Alright, and we're gonna stop pulling this pack. Remember, just keep the scale beans out of the group. I will, yeah, I'll trade it to Campo. I wasn't aware. I always forget what the main spec on that item is. Alright, guys, we do need to be cautious of where Arrhenius is. Make sure <laughs> that um, if he comes. Well, he, we're... he's just gone past us. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> 
I'd also like to say thank you, Raph, for uh, sharing your screen. That way I can keep an eye on the raid as I'm doing loot. <laughs> Promise I'll behave. No, it's just more like I can uh, give instruction for which mob group, you know. The. You just need an eye in the sky. We do have a couple of people with us today who this is their first Emerald Sanctum, so I want to make sure that I'm giving all the necessary instruction needed. Yeah, it's my first time. We're getting a lot of trash through, uh, drops today. Good. Just so it's clear, I am Boomkin main spec. What? With rolling on shit. Oh, today? Okay. Yeah. Like, don't want people going, oh, he's tanking, so he's tanking me. He's like, no, thank you. That's the gear is why I'm here. Hey, he's tanking? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we do have another trash drop. It is the Corrupted Reed with uh, no SRs. Yeah. So... Do we have any casters with us today who may be interested? Response to coin, I think 37 spell power is only really good for healers if they haven't got any other trinkets. Yeah, but also healer trinkets are shit, right? Yeah, so like, kinda good. Also, it's great purpose as multi-purpose rat. You know? Alright guys, please do be cautious, please do be cautious. He's going to be using it. Totems out. Mm -hmm. Everyone just run to the very back. Yep, we're going to the safety corner. The totems, by the way. Make sure we're pulling our totems. I will loot everything once we, uh... Once he's in a safer position. Mm -hmm. I pulled this little pack right in front of us. Alright, do be cautious though, because when he does this type of a turnaround, um, he kind of heads pretty close into the corner, so you all need to be pulling that stack. Directly to where the stack of people is. Yeah, pull where that little hill is. Yep, yeah, on it. Same deal though, I want the scale veins away from the raid. Let's just pull nibbles to the rig first, don't we? Dreamers first, and then I want the suppressors and the wormkins down. We may need to wait for him to pass while we all kind of huddle on the hill. Um, before we take down that dreamer pack. Because this is where we've pulled him quite a number of times, so we need to be cautious. Yeah, we're gonna we're going to let him pass, and then we'll take the dreamers because he's coming up onto the the dreamers now. So everybody, we're gonna be huddling on the hill, and we're gonna let him pass. We do have a sleeper's ring. I 
think this is what? This is a tank spec, right? Coin? Uh, it's just pretty much basic nature resistance. Anyone? Alright. Anyone can roll. Anyone roll. Anyone who wants it rolls. But I want us up on the hill. I want us up on the hill. Last call for rolls. Pro Hill, I, uh, I appreciate the... Alright, let's see. Be careful. On the hill. He's close. Yep. Mer. Up on the hill, up on the hill. I'll do the loot in a second. McVay, move. Pick up your totems. Just like BWL. Pull your totems. Just like BWL. Butts against the wall. Fucking dumbass looking motherfucker. Alright, it looks like we have a 97 on the ring that is going to Giga Ass. Congratulations. Alright. We can go forward now? If he's fast, yes. Let me loot that ring over to Giga Axe. Isn't this fun, guys? <laughs> nice walk in the park. Alright, once this pack is down, we will be huddling into the safety corner, and then I will, uh, um, give out the assignments for who's doing what. Fine, it will happen. And then once you get the dagger, it'll drop like five times. What you need to do is convince Sani to turn this into a trash farm where we just run in, kill trash, reset three times, and then off we go. <laughs> oh yes, it would be. But this has only took 20 minutes. We could do an hour of it, you know? I mean, we do need it to be like the average rate, right? Okay, so, um... Coin, I'm going to whisper you uh, an opinion on who to be on Arrhenius. Is Coincidence tanking it? Watch out. Priest tank. Alrighty, so we are going to split up the groups as followed. Um, boss, would you be interested in holding Arrhenius? Sure. I'll be okay. on. So the whole point is you just gotta hold him, you gotta keep him occupied, um, keep him in a safe spot, and then we take care of Sonius. So, alrighty, so since JC will be on Arrhenius, um, Am, I'm probably gonna have you Hunter pull him over to um, JC once we uh, get ourselves situated. Um, I'm gonna have the following healers on JC, it's going to be... Coincidence, Scratchy, and then I'm going to ask probably, um, yes, I was just thinking Loha. So I'm going to have Coincidence, Loha, and Scratchy on JCE. You guys are going to be positioned on the purple runes, which I have to get out of my pretty bag. Everyone else, all of my other healers, you're going to be located on the... Um, the blue runes, your main job is going to be healing the tank who is holding Sonius, and then JCE's healers, so that's Coincidence, Loha, and Scratchy. Our tanks today on Sonius, I am going to ask Hakuna Matata and Campo to fight for threat. Um, at that 10% or 90% uh, mark, Whoever has main threat is going to be our main tank. And so, healers, your priority, again, is going to be the main tank on Sonius and JCE's healers. The third priority would be our DPS. All of my lovely warriors today, your main job during phase three of the boss fight is to pick up all the adds. Remember, big adds first, then little adds. How the boss fight is going to work. 
is that Sonius has three phases. The first phase lasts 10% of his health. This is where we go low and slow. We want to make sure that our tanks are number one and two on the threat meter. The second phase goes from 90% to about 60% of his health. At this point, he'll be in his dragon form, and just like any dragon, you attack that back left foot, or right foot, excuse me, um, and avoid his mouth. So heavy, heavy heals on our tank. And please, everyone, no dispelling of any kind. No dispelling, no decursing, no cleansing of any kind. All of those debuffs come back in a stronger form. I have eyes in the sky. I will find out who did it. Because I found out who did it last week. And I have corrected the said individual. Well, individuals, I should say. Um, yeah, you fucking beat him up, guys. Yeah, we'll take you so to yes, the I will find you and I will hunt you down. So please don't. Um, that being said, at 60%, he'll go to sleep. That's when the mobs show up. Warriors, I will need my challenging shouts. I, your top priority and all DPS's top priority is to protect our healers. If our healers stay safe, we survive. And then once the dragon is back up, again, still, all mobs go down first and then the boss. Um, it's just a repeat of phase two. And it's a clean battle. All right. Highly recommended to pop a greater nature protection potion or a regular nature protection potion. You'll probably need to do two per fight if you are a DPS. Um, but that is pretty much it in terms of everything. Ready check. If you select yes, that means you have everything you need. If you select no, I will give you the mark up in one second, boss. First round, just let me know when you're back, bud. It's all good. Alright, JCE's healers are going to be on the purple triad. Boss, you are going to be fighting him kind of around here. Try to make sure that you're in line of sight of your healers, but they are not in line of sight of him. And JCE's healers, please do make sure that you're calling out when you're slept. All other DPS and um, our tanks with the Sonius fight, we are not going to start the fight until JCE has at least 10k threat and he gives us the okay. This green line is where I don't want ads passing. If a mob passes here and gets to our um, healers, we're fucked. So, alright. That being said, it looked like we came back clean. So, um, Am, if you want to go and grab him for JCE. Again, everyone, we are allowing JCE to get at least 10k on threat. And then, uh, you we should be ready to rock and roll. The Awakener. Your efforts will disturb everything. Sleep. Be gone. General of thumb, ladies and gents. Okay. good. Alright, let's start the fight. Low and slow for the first 10%, guys. Low and slow. I'm sleeped. This is fucking... You're gonna be asleep. It's all good. That's why we wait till you have 10k. Big heals on Loha. Big heals on Loha. Alright, Hakuna Matata and Lighty are number one and two. It is now an Arya. Arya, somebody needs a bubble. Move the dragon forward, please. I want him away from our healers. I want him away from our healers. Again, still big heals on Loha. Lighty, if you can move him back. Still big heals on Loha. Guys, I really need him moved back. I don't want him coming anywhere fucking close to our healers. Is the tank rooted or...? What is rooted? Um, not having a W. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
All right, thank you, thank you. All right, he's going to sleep. Hunters, or excuse me, warriors, get ready to pick up. Big ads need to go down first, and then the little ads. Still, Lighty is going to be the main tank on um, the boss. He needs to be free in about 15 seconds. Gale Bane's out of the fucking raid. Big ads first, big ads first. Shamans, don't be afraid to put your tremor totems down. We're gonna need them for the dreamers. DPS, all of the mobs need to go down. Fucking turn the dragon. Pick him up. Bubble Ragician. Bubble Ragician, Bubble Ragician. Big heals on coincidence. Somebody fucking bubble ragician. I can't believe we only lost one person. Hot damn, guys. Are all the mobs down? Can I get confirmation that all the mobs are down? Yes. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, guys. I'm losing the boss for a second. Though. Big heals on JCE. I'm good. Um, some weird effect hit me and it just lost my aggro. It wasn't sleep there. It might have been the um. I don't know how long, how big the, the ability for the the nightmare debuff is off of Sonius. Turn him, turn him, turn him. I want him turn. Big heals on Scratchy. Big heals on Coincidence. Pop another nature protection potion. Big heels on coincidence, big heels on scratchy. And I think the healers on me are gone. No, oh, the others are asleep. <clears throat> we have three percent guys, three percent. Melee, you need to take a step back for a pot, for a potion. Turn them, fucking turn them, somebody bubble radiation. Oh, thank heavens. Alright, um, Arrhenius will become friendly in one second. He might hit He's us with a poison friendly. volley. Okay. He tends to hit us with a poison volley on the way out. Because he's a dick. With that being said, guys, not a bad run today, not a bad run. Um, was a little bit on the messier side, but I can't complain. That's really good loot. I'm going to be looting the dragon first, guys, and then I will be doing the chest. Just so that everyone is aware. It's two items guaranteed, right? We got a third one. And then we got a second bag as well. That's kind of crazy. That is kind of cray-cray. Alrighty. So, first things first. Can I get my SR rolls on the aspect of... Sarah Dean, whatever. Sarah Dean? Yes. Um, Momo, you do have a plus two, so that is um, 20 to 120. You win it either way. If you have pluses, you should roll correctly as well. Alright, 
congratulations. Next thing we have is the Jade Helmet. Let me see if we have any SRs on this. J, J, J. It looks like we don't. So actually, let me roll off the ring first, because we do have SRs on the ring. Remember, if you have a plus, you add that value times 10. Damn, Meme Chan. Coming in hot. Congrats, Meme Chan. Congrats. All right. We do have an SR on the bag. Can I get my SRs on the bag first? We only have one SR on the head. What are you saying? You only have one SR on the bag, yes. You said the Snega does not have an SR, 